Nearly 50% of the nation's ethanol plants are offline due to poor margins tied to record low ethanol prices and gas demand. That also means that there are less DDGs that are being produced for animal feed. That's forcing some cattle producers to look at alternative feed sources. Tightening supplies and higher prices for DDGs has many cattle producers looking at alternatives. One is soybean meal, which is running about $300 per ton. Using those values, soybean meal on, for per unit of crude protein uh, was actually cheaper than distillers drains, which we haven't seen in you know, almost a generation, frankly. He says soybean meal is readily available and very adaptable in various beef rations. We can use it in a... Uh, uh, high energy, high concentrate cattle finishing diet. Uh, it'll fit into some of the backgrounding programs. We can also use it on the cow calf side if we've got cows that are grazing or are being fed a low quality roughage source. He says soybean meal increases starch and finishing diets and the chance for acidosis, so producers need to manage feed intake. South Dakota soybean processors has seen increased interest in soybean meal and hulls. Meal is 46 percent protein as fed, while DDGs are 25 to 32 percent protein. So it's a good alternative and supplies are readily available. We can contract for three, four months if you want or, or longer. Uh, you can lock in a price. And as you know, that usually uh, it's, it's based on the futures board is how we price that. Other products cattle feeders can use include non-protein nitrogen or urea and meat and bone meal. More information is available at the SDSU Extension website.